It's all part of us. We can all choose love. It'll lift you up if you let it in. Let the healing begin. Children who come into protective custody have been through the cycle of violence, and it's um, it's it's very unique. And um, the child that I was working with was about six. And he was very angry. He was very frustrated. He'd been physically abused. He'd been through emotional abuse. He was confused. He was away from his family now. And most of the children that I interacted with, even though they were away from their families, they still loved their families very, very much. And they were very loyal to their families. And nobody could speak badly about them. But this child was very upset day after day. And what I noticed was he and I had a connection. He would make eye contact with me when, when I would come in at the beginning of my shift. And he would begin to act out. And I was very new to the shelter. It was in my first month, I believe. That's why I remember it so well. You always remember things very much from the beginning. And he, he would act out physically against somebody else. And one of the counselors would step up and ask him to, you know, stop his behavior. And it would escalate and escalate and escalate until the point when somebody had to put their arms around him and take him into, we had a place called a quiet room and it was actually a padded room. The children were never put in there alone. There was always one of us with them. Um, but if they were hurting themselves or others in a very serious way, we had to get them to a place where they could calm down. And what I noticed was that this child was was acting out when I would come in because he knew that at some point I would scoop him up with my arms around him and I never had to do it very hard and I, I keyed in on that very quickly and finally one of the days when I took him into the room and usually what I would do is I would put him down and then I would step back um, he was he, he would spit as well and so I had to be careful to move behind him because I, I didn't really enjoy being spit on but if I would sit down and say why don't you come and sit with me um, he, he would want that and he would back hit like this until I had my arms around him. And if I could do any sort of cuddling or touching, that would calm him down. And the first thing that we would talk about was he wasn't angry at me. He wanted this. And so in this very new, just out of college state that I was in, I finally said to him, when I come in to your shift, you know, come into your cottage on, on, on my shift, just tell me if you want to sit on my lap, hold my hand, or be held or hugged. Because it seems to me that that is what you want. And you don't have to go through all of this anger to get to the point where you're sitting with me. And it took a while. But when we got to that point, and he finally made the connection that he, he could just ask for it in a positive way, we made a lot of progress with him after that. If you let it in, let the Healing begin So won't you turn it up